Have you ever had night terrors? Do you see the movements of beings out the corner of your eyes? Have you ever spoken words and minutes later it happened? Are you looking for answers? Then seek them here. Creative Inspiration Radio is now on with your host, Alain de Vidarjean. Hello everyone, I'm Alain de Vidarjean. Welcome to this edition of Creative Inspirations Radio, also known as Creative Eye Radio. Let's talk a little bit about lunar spellcasting. To use lunar phase energy to enhance your spells or spellcasting by the moon, remember that the moon enters various signs every few days and to be wary of casting during the void, of course. If you don't know what that is, I'll explain it a little bit later in this edition. First of all, it's a good idea to visit the Universal Lunar Calendar to find out exactly where the Moon is. Currently, the Sun is in the House of Cancer. Now, Cancer is ruled by the Moon and the element of water, generally occurring June 21st through July 20th. Believe it or not, this year it started on a Sunday. When the Sun is in Cancer, the new Moon is in Cancer, and the full Moon will be in Capricorn. Now. Work on spells to increase love and respect within the family during the waxing moon. Or try banishing barriers to familial harmony, better known as getting rid of that whole arguing thing between you and your siblings. You do that one during the waning. To calm emotional turmoil and to heal the pain of past wrongs within family relationships, cleansing, blessing, purifying, and protecting the home, psychic development, and divination. You can also do some kitchen and garden witchery during the Cancer Moon because, well, one, your kitchen will get cleaner. Um, Cancer is definitely the sign of the home body, and so they love a clean and tidy house. And garden witchery is always great because that's when you do some wonderful seasonal planting and you get really great results. Now, if you don't know or you're in the Northern Hemisphere, currently the moon is in the waning. So it's definitely a good time to perform all of those banishing and cleansing rituals you wanted to, like mentioned above, especially if you're having problems within your family. Now, for those of you who are not practitioners and follow other methods of spirituality, it's also an excellent time to pray for protection, again, for your home, your family, um, income resource, etc. Now, these are prayers that, just like spellcasting, must be tailored. I did tell you I'd explain what void of course means. Simply put, the void, of course, occurs at the point when the moon leaves one sign and ends when it enters another. Now, common wisdom will tell you don't do any spell casting during this time. However, most people aren't really sure why. Some say that all your efforts will be wasted during this time, and others say that your results will be disastrous, better known as the opposite of what it is you are trying to accomplish. So, just be weary, but... Always make sure that you're doing what you do and tailor your spells and your prayers. If you would like to learn more about tailoring your spells or your prayers, um, spell casting, banishing, cleansing, or doing blessings, please visit daymuse.com and sign up for the upcoming Cleansings, Banishing, and Blessings workshop. It's going to be held uh, live at Jack London Square facility in Oakland, California on July 8th. Registration is is going on now. Space is very limited, so you want to get in there and take advantage of this. Also, this will be um, available via a private link, so if you can't make it out to the live event, you can actually watch the class as it's being taught. You want to visit Day Muse, and Day is spelled D-A-E. That's daymuse.com. You can also order a copy of the Cleansing, Banishing, and Blessings workshop on DVD in which you will receive three AVA handmade spell casting candles for free. Please remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. We're at Creative I Radio, and that's I as in the letter I. Thank you for joining me on this edition. I'll be back soon with more information on spells, tips, and tactics to help you with your paranormal and any other problems that you may be seeking answers to with regards to the occult. Until next time, much abundance and many blessings. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Creative Inspiration Radio with Alain de Jean. For more information on paranormal, 
parapsychology, or preternatural phenomenon, visit us on the web at www.daemuse.com. That's D-A-E-M-U-S-E dot com. And take part in one of our informative workshops. Also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Creative Eye Radio. Until next time, pleasant thoughts and abundance. Oh, my God.